Thursday evenings, 8 o'clock. We've all learned during this crisis how fantastic it feels to thank people, to be kind to people when they've done so much for us. Our NHS staff at great risk to themselves have tirelessly worked to make our lives as safe as possible and make us as well as possible. I expect a lot of you have also found other ways to support the RUH and its staff. But you know, in the middle of all this thanking and kindness to others, well, we often forget to be kind to ourselves. And that's really important. Psychological research has shown that when you take that moment to show self-kindness, to show self-respect, you get a burst of energy. So you can do whatever it is you want to do more easily, and you can do more of it. Your creative powers are boosted so that you can come up with more ingenious ways to help out, and you can solve problems in a more proactive way. We also know from research that your mood is likely to remain more positive and steadier for longer when you take that moment to thank yourself, to be kind to yourself. It doesn't have to take long. For example, you could make yourself a really nice cup of tea once a day, you know, really special. You could turn off the news, which will just depress you, put on your favorite music. At bedtime, why don't you add in one extra little treat in your bedtime routine? Or thank yourself when you've really tried hard. Those things will make such a difference to you and to everyone around you. I hope you have a great week. It's Mental Health Awareness Week. Spend it being kind to others and yourself.